Who would prevail in a confrontation between these two enormous birds, an ostrich and a cassowary? The largest and heaviest living bird is the ostrich. The ostrich was originally referred to as the camel bird due to its long neck, large eyes, sweeping eyelashes, and jolting gait, as suggested by its species name, Camelus. The ostrich can endure extreme temperatures and survive without water for extended periods of time, just like camels can. The second largest bird on the planet and the world's most hazardous flightless bird is the cassowary. It is a member of the ratites, a vast order of flightless dinosaur birds. It and the emu have a strong relationship. How do they appear? The ostrich is the biggest and heaviest bird in the entire planet. They can weigh up to 320 pounds, which is a substantial amount, 145 kilograms, and are 9 feet 2.7 meters tall, which makes the trip impractical. The ostrich has long, powerful legs that are made for running. Ostriches can move more quickly than other birds because they only have two toes on each foot, as opposed to other birds that have three or four. They have a sprinting speed of up to 70 kilometers per hour, 43 miles per hour. Having a four inches, they can seriously damage potential predators with their downward kicks thanks to the 10 centimeters talon on each foot. Males employ their striking black and white coloration to entice females. Contrarily, females are a light brown color. The widest eyes on a land animal are those of the ostrich, measuring 2 inches 5 centimeters in diameter. Cassowaries can reach a towering height of 6.5 feet as adults, 2 m. The physical characteristics of the sexes are generally similar, while women are somewhat larger and can weigh up to 176 pounds 80 kilograms. Males can reach 121 pounds in weight 55 kilograms. The southern cassowary is a ratite, a big flightless bird with peculiar feathers and other characteristics that set it apart from all other birds, including the emu and ostrich. The adult southern cassowary is a stunning bird with glossy black plumage, a tall, brown cask on top of its head, a vibrant blue and purple neck, long, drooping red wattles, and amber eyes. The tall helmet or cask's function is uncertain, but given that it grows with life, it may signify age and supremacy. Each huge, well-muscled leg has three toes, the inside of which is equipped with a large, dagger-shaped claw that may measure up to 4.7 inches 12 centimeters, in length and is used for scratching in combat with other birds. In addition to South Africa, ostriches also exist throughout the wild in Western and Eastern Africa. They once roamed the entire continents of Africa, Asia, and the Arabian Peninsula. They are now restricted to Sub-Saharan Africa because they are so heavily hunted. Feral ostrich populations have developed as a result of ostrich farming in Australia, New Mexico, and Israel. Savannas, semi-arid regions, deserts, and semi-deserts are all home to these birds. Ostriches stay away from wooded regions. They can detect predators from a distance thanks to their excellent eyesight, and they quickly flee before being apprehended. Areas with a lot of vegetation may make it difficult for flying birds to flee. Only northeastern Australia, New Guinea, and the surrounding islands are included in the cassowaries range. Cassowaries may have been brought to some of these islands through trade with other indigenous cultures, but scientists are unsure of this. The lush rainforests of New Guinea and northern Australia are cassowaries' preferred environment. They seek food and safety while hiding from potential predators in these damp woodlands. Although infrequently, they have also been observed living in grassland, savanna, swamp woods, and palm scrub. Do they eat anything? Due to their omnivorous nature, ostriches consume whatever is in season in their habitat. They predominantly consume plants, particularly roots, leaves, and seeds, but they will also chow down on nearby insects, snakes, lizards, or rodents. Food is gathered in the crop at the top of the ostrich's throat while feeding until it becomes a large enough lump to slide down the throat. Additionally, the gizzards of these large birds benefit from the little stones, 
pebbles, and sand that they consume. Ostriches do not require water because they obtain all of their needs from the plants they consume, yet they will drink if they approach a watering hole. However, they will also consume tiny vertebrates, insects, fungus, carrion, and plants. Cassowaries enjoy fallen. The diversity of rainforest trees is maintained in large part by cassowaries. The only creature that can transport enormous seeded fruits over great distances is the cassowary, one of the few fruit feeders that can disseminate large jungle fruits. The seeds are dispersed across a wide area in the jungle as they consume the fruit whole, digesting the pulp and passing the seeds in enormous mounds of excrement undamaged. Even some rainforest seeds need the digestive process of the southern cassowary to help them germinate. What do they do? Ostriches typically coexist with other grazing species like antelope and zebras in flocks of 5 to 50. The breeding season lasts for around 5 months and flocks will occupy areas between 2 and 15 square kilometers. Smaller, looser flocks of 2 to 5 animals form outside of the breeding season. Ostriches live a nomadic, primarily diurnal lifestyle, being active both early in the morning and late at night. Males are highly territorial and defend their domain. These birds enjoy the water, frequently bathe if given the chance, and have strong swimming abilities. They occasionally lay down with their necks extended to avoid being seen, which is likely where the urban legend that ostriches bury their heads in the sand got its start. They hiss loudly and puff up the feathers on their wings in an attempt to intimidate a rival or predator. These birds can outrun their predators with ease thanks to their quick feet. Due to their extremely short wings, southern cassowaries are unable to fly. Instead, they move quickly and protect themselves by using their powerful legs. With the help of the bony casts on their heads, they can slam through the jungle at close to 50 km per hour if they become frightened. These birds forage primarily in the morning and late afternoon and are diurnal, resting in the middle of the day. They are proficient swimmers and jumpers. Since they live alone, they have a home range that they guard against other cassowaries. They roar fiercely and deeply when in the jungle, and others can hear them from a considerable distance away. Now is the time to fight. Cassowary versus Ostrich who might win. Ostriches have about the same arsenal of weapons as cassowaries and are taller, heavier, quicker, and bulkier. The average ostrich is smaller, lighter, and moves more slowly than even the largest cassowary. Since both birds are mainly herbivorous, there is no advantage. Cassowaries occasionally consume frogs and rodents, but none are large enough to offer them a competitive advantage over ostriches. The cassowary's claw is its one and only truly substantial possession. However, the ostrich itself has a terrible foot weapon. The identical kick is used by both birds as their method of weaponry. The ostrich, which has far greater strength and speed than the cassowary, will also have a much longer range than the latter. Even while the cassowary has a sharper claw, its opponent is bigger, stronger, faster, and carrying a similar weapon, so this advantage isn't really significant. Even though cassowaries are far more aggressive and have sharper beaks, I believe the ostrich's larger weight will be the decisive advantage in a fight to the death if its adrenaline levels are at their highest. So I predict that the ostrich will triumph. What do you think? I'm looking forward to your response in the comments.